Gemini, welcome to your Astro Flower reading for the month of July. I'm calling it Apply in July after joyous June. How to apply your joy in July, basically. Um, so, yeah, I've done the collective reading, which you will find on our channel. Let's just get straight in here for you. You've got the High Priestess. Clear vision of where you're going. I think the energy, the overall energy is is almost confirming your vision of how you want things how you want things to unveil or, or how things to progress within your life and this is also within your financial as much as on your relationship side it's like the overall energy is um is recognized your inner vision and um it's almost as if it's helping you to apply it on your relationship side, you have the Queen of Wands, really passionate energy uh, for you here. And I would be very passionate about your relationships at the moment and be with the person you should be with. So um, when you're with a person, you should be there. You shouldn't have your mind elsewhere. You should really be with that person and, and enjoy the moment of being with that person. And I think this is how you apply your joy in July, basically. A very, very powerful sort of thing. It's also sort of, your karmic sort of path here is also learning about how you, the magical side of life, of learning about the magical side of applying your energy. The moment you apply your energy and you're really there, you know as well as I do, things are just gonna open up and go work really well with you. You've got like, uh, we've got a royal buzzard and he comes over here every day or she comes over here every day. Um, so she's confirming it. Thank you. She's being like saying, I don't know if you can hear that. I hope you can. Um, she's sort of saying, you know, own it, be that queen. You know, this is not gender specific, obviously, but be passionate about what you're living. In the first week here, you get the five of swords. In order to apply this joy and everything like that, you have to walk away from relationships that are just conflictual because they like being conflictual. Um, and it's nothing to win here. It's, it's, it's sort of like one-upmanship that doesn't really breed any sort of value whatsoever. Um, you know, um, some people just like to be right. <laughs> you know, and just kind of go, yeah, fine, you're right. Okay, we're well, done. Okay, I can move on now because I'm going to go and have fun over there. You know, that sort of thing. I think that's realizing it of how you do apply yourself in life um, and, you know, adhering to that Queen of Wands. In the second week, you get the hangman. So this has been coming out for um, air signs um, and on the relationship side. Um, and I think here as well, in the second week here, I think because you are seeing life in a different way or seeing relationships in a different way, and we've seen that in your readings over the past month, I think, where you're approaching things in a different sort of sense. And the moment you start approaching it in a different sort of sense, I think people are coming round to your way of seeing things because you see things slightly different. It is asking people that are around you to also see things differently because you are changing your positioning basically or you've changed your position and it'll help you because you've changed your position not only do you see things in a different light but people see you in a different light if you know what I mean and this is where it starts really coming people start kind of going oh Gemini well, oh wow what are they doing you know really start um you know opening up for you it's really beautiful really really nice for you um, let's see what's going on in the third week. You get the King of Swords. Conviction in your vision uh, of where you're going through judgment. So you kind of like sort of said, okay, um, this, this changing of positioning of what in regards to the relationships that are around you has helped you to realize how things work. So you can judge how things work in relationships and now you can start applying them in life because people are starting seeing you in a different way you can start applying your judgment to the vision of how you, of what relationships you wish to have or 
how you want the relationships to be in the going future. It's going to make you be very regal about it, as I said earlier on with that royal buzzard. Um, and uh, you're going to really... Um, you're almost going to be like a point of reference in a way that people are going to come to you for solutions um, to situations rather than you having to turn around and sort of say, I wouldn't do that like that. I'd do this like, like that, like that, like that. You might well have a reason, but people don't like being told that, do they? You know? So the people might be coming to you now and because you reposition and start saying, Gemini, how, do you, how, do, how, how would I do this? And then all of a sudden, you're going to be the solution king. You know, it's not gender specific, obviously, but, you know, you're going to be that solution person to go to. That's what I think you're going to be holding a lot of solutions for a lot of people. And it's going to I think it's going to make you really popular, uh, really, really popular. Um, yeah, it's going to it's it's. I think this application here is taking you on to much happier and calmer shores because I'm not sure, you you know, you're not the person to sort of like burn everything and have an amazing time you know throw caution to the wind all the time and everything like that because you know that that that's fine for one night but you know what i mean that doesn't build a better future as i said like there's some people who just want to argue just to be right you know there's some people who just want to kind of go oh blow tomorrow live today which is fine absolutely brilliant i can understand that totally but there is also a degree of sort of kind of going do you know what? I'm going to cultivate a beautiful future where I don't have to worry about tomorrow. And that's where you're getting to, I think, here. I, get, I think this, this card here is all to do with personal assurance within yourself. And it, I think you're going to really enjoy that, that personal insurance. And that personal, um, rather than having to sort of like, you know, please everybody that is around you, because you're now becoming the solution person, you know, people are going to be coming to you, all of a sudden, you don't have to go to the karma shores to find that happiness. Happiness is going to find you. That's what I feel. Uh, and it's a really nice card, actually, the Six of Swords in that position there. Really, really beautiful card. Um, yeah, and I think it's a lot of clarity for you, basically. Um, let's just see what's going on on your financial side. On, the, um, on your karmic path, you've got the King of Pentacles. The king has um, confidence and assurance and abundance because the king has been studied and knows how to obtain it. And I think this is where you have that capacity within you. There is no doubt about it, uh, Gemini. You're very studious uh, in the way you do things. And that, bit, that attitude, that approach to life, it's actually bringing you abundance. And now it's sort of saying you should start stepping into that abundance, knowing that worth, that, that value that gives you. And that's your karmic message to there this month here to actually step into that. And I think really flex your value muscles in your workspace, in your career path, in your job, in your business, in your projects. It's like, you know, you know it. So therefore you should get the rewards for it sort of scenario i think that's really um and you've got to live it you've really got to live it um on your first week you get the empress this is really beautiful stuff look at this high priestess queen of wands king of pentacles king of wands uh king of swords um and now you get the empress this is um the empress is about opportunities the opportunities come because she has she is the empress over her emotions. Therefore, she is an empress over her, over her emotions. She can gather lots of different chaotic information that is around her to channel it into one thing, to create something new, to create these opportunities. And this is what I mean about where you've been studious about things in life, within your business and your projects and stuff like that. You're going to be able to put it in a way in your life where it's going to be very productive and create a new opportunity. It may even be a case, let's say, for some of you that you're in a job and you realise that there's part of the job that's not really being paid attention to and you've observed and you've worked it out and all of a sudden you've gone back to the company and sort of said, look, we really need to deal with this. And they create a new section in the business 
because of that. And you take head of that section, for example. That's the sort of thing that's going on here. You know, she sat on that log, which is shaped like a heart. So she has that emotional control in order to see things clearly. And that this is where, this, you know, you are the go-to person for solutions about, about things. And that's what's coming through here in this first week here. Um, it's really starting, you're really starting to carve out your career path, carve out your business in a really beautiful way or your project and etc. cetera. Um, huh. Uh, it, it's, it is, you get the emperor. So we now we've got the empress and the emperor and the king of pentacles. This is divine connection, possibly with someone else. It could be a case that you connect with someone in work in such a way that puts both of you in this regal position, in a position of power. Um, but the emperor is the opposite to the empress. The emperor has control over the material side of life. The empress has the control over the emotional side of life. That is their empires. And with this understanding that you have within you, you know, all of a sudden in the second week, you can put into action the, um, the dominion over your material life. And it's going to be, it's going to bring you ultimately it's living up to um living up to your um your abundance your your knowledge of the situation and standing firm in who you are you know um standing in your power this is really really powerful on your material side this is a month for you gemini to really excel within your job and your business and this is what I'm getting, where you've got to be a little bit firm about it. A little bit, you know, no, that's not how it works. This is how it's working, sort of scenario. You know, I'm not cross. It's just like, you know, I'm just being firm about it all. <laughs> Living up to it, stepping into your power. It's going to be absolutely brilliant. The world's going to be a greater place when you do, Gemini. The world is a better place when you do step into your power like that. And this is the opportunity. This is what you're creating. The opportunity turns up in the third week for you. The starting of something new, a gift from, the, from what you've actually created. I don't think it's a gift. I think you've cultivated this more than anything else. But this opportunity comes in which allows you to plant a seed for a much brighter future, for a future full of abundance for you, um, full of security and, um, yeah, sort of um, financial abundance, assurance, you know, uh, anything you really need, really, uh, to make it in life. Um, and it is very fulfilling as well. And it's also, there's a lot of luck that comes in with this as well. Uh, a lot of, um, you know, yeah, you get, you know, the lucky penny is shining on you, as it were. Um, and you're being offered this lucky penny uh, in your life. And I think you have created this. This is what I'm saying. I think energy is now coming into alignment with you, as it were. And then in the last week, you get the Hierophant. This is probably the most powerful reading I've seen for you in a long time, actually, um, Gemini. A very, very powerful reading. Hierophant is, my, is the favourite card, my favourite card in this pack. The Hierophant, what the Hierophant has done, have we got the um, High Priestess? Oh, we have, yeah. Wow. Okay, so this, oh, this is so good. This is so good, Gemini. Seriously, this is so good. I'm really chuffed. I'm really, really chuffed. I love you, Gemini. I really do. You're amazing. Um, not only are they divine counterparts, which you've got there, but the overall energy, which is this, is the divine counterpart to that. She has the um, wisdom through insight, through third eye yeah through seeing and having that inner vision of being able to see the path and seeing what is right and everything like that and what works the hierophant has the experience 
That's the physical experience of what is right. How the steps you need to, you know, the learned, it's, you know, it's almost like a religious, it's obviously a religious figure that's learnt his religion, which enables him to do certain physical things in order to get him to nirvana or get him into, uh, you know, some people it could be meditation brings you into that state of well-being. And meditation is absolutely brilliant. And the Hierophant is very much like this. But he's also sharing this with other people. Um, he's like a teacher as well. He's also like, um, he, 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 he's the appointed one that sort of, um, uh, sort of the overseer of marriage, the coming together of two things together. Um, and this Hierophant knows the, has the experience in the material world that he knows he has to do this, which means this will happen and then I will get this result. And this is that three-stage learning. Um, and that's where he's learned these two things here. And he's finally sitting in his place, being regal about it, and actually earning out of it. <sighs> Gemini. I am chuffed to bits for you. I love Geminis. I've got quite a few Geminis in my life uh, that I know. And I'll tell you what, they're fantastic. You're, you're a fantastic lot, Gemini. Right. Let's just do a bit of clarification here. Thank you very much for being here, showing your support for this channel, subscribing and everything like that. Um, you'll find in the links in the description below. Um, I've opened up the agenda for um, uh, my, my calendar for private readings because I've been having a lot of people asking for private readings. There's a link where you can go to because there's so many people asking. I haven't got the time to deal with it all. Um, so I've created a calendar where you can go along, you can book your appointment and everything like that. Um, choose the formula, the sort of reading that you so desire. Um, and you know, then it, then I know what's going on. I know where to be at what time and everything like that. And we can have a private reading. So it's, it's in there as well. So yeah, thank you very much for your support for this channel. Uh, let's just see what's going on with the High Priestess. You get the uh, Page of Pentacles, opening up that path through that inner vision of the material world, learning about the mid-term sort of cycles from seed to fruit. It doesn't necessarily take a whole year. It takes usually around about eight, nine months in order to go from seed to fruit. Um, and this is that understanding of how you apply your vision to a mid, you know, medium term plan. You're not looking for overnight success here. You're looking for success. Uh, and that's what's coming into you. And it's learning about that. And it's learning about uh, how you open that path towards that way. With the queen of wands, you get the nine of wands. Yeah, I think you're just sort of like sort of looking at the past sort of saying and the healthy boundaries is kind of going, I don't want to live like that. I want to live passionately. I think that's what it is. And I think that's what the healthy boundary is. And you've taken that wand, which is that staff going forward. And you've got the message, which is the eight wands behind you. And you're heading off in that direction and sort of saying, yeah, I want it. I'm going to get it. Uh, sort of scenario. Let's just see what's going on with the five of one five of swords i'm gonna say i don't know if you can see that chap there he's got this like slight smile on his face or you know um as if he's sort of like defaulted by sort of walking away from conflicts he's defaulted you know he's he's going to be ultimately the one who's going to be happy uh so let's just see what's going on with that five of um five of swords yeah i think you've just got to walk away from any conflicts and head towards your dreams and aspirations of the star Head towards what makes you shine, basically, uh, Gemini. I think that's really, really important um, here. And you'll know that this week, in the first week. You'll know why, you'll do, why you are doing this. What's going on with the hangman? Manifesting. Look at this. You've got the star cards. You've got a really powerful reading. It's, it just doesn't stop, Gemini. It just doesn't stop being powerful. Um, by seeing things differently, and I think where people recognize this, the way you reposition yourself, I, I, I talked about earlier on, and you get recognition from that because you're looking at life in a different way, it's going to allow you to manifest uh, a future which you didn't have access to before you pos repositioned yourself according to the world and how you apply your joy in life. Okay? 
and I had the ace of pentacles at the base of the base of the pack there. So, you know, that's what you're heading towards. Let's see what's going on with the king of swords, this go-to solution person, uh, and getting that recognition from the people that are around you. You've got the eight of wands. Yeah, I think there's going to be a lot of communication coming your way. I think people are going to be opening up to you because you do have this persona of the solutions. Um, and I think people are going to be very interested in that and, and really open to connecting with you in multiple different ways. It's going to make for a very um, uh, invigorating life, I think, if you, if, you, um, you know, if you approach life like this. With the, five, with the Six of Swords, you get the Five of Pentacles. I'm going to go along with this, like, uh, this as well. I think this is, um, you're finally, with this people coming to you, you're finally going to feel like you're back in the fold of the family of the human race. That's what I feel. And I think that's what gives you that sensation of karma shores, as it were. Um, and it, it's, it puts pay to any sort of um, weaknesses in your life. Um, and, you know, the thing is, I think what you're going to realize is actually you had the key the whole way through this. And you can, you're now applying that key in life and opening that door for you. On your financial side, let's just see what's going on on the King of Pentacles. What is this abundance and this assurance and this confidence that you have? It comes out through abundance and assurance and confidence because we got the Ten of Pentacles. This is mad, Gemini. You've got to live it. You've got to live that persona. You've got to be that person. You know, I don't want to say, um, you know, some people say um, fake it to make it, you know, something like that. Um, but I wouldn't say it's like that at all. I'd say it's more of a case of that you do have this abundance within you. And knowing this will breed that assurance and that confidence within you to do things. With the Empress card, you get the Knight of Wands. Yeah, knowing this is a passionate interaction with the world around you. This is a passionate connection with that emperor as well in the coming week uh, after that. It's getting into the rhythm of life, um, joyously involved in your material path, joyously involved in creating your your career, creating your business, your, you know, your, your projects and stuff like that. Just being really smiling and being passionate about what you're doing is going to open up lots of opportunities for you. With the Emperor cards, you get the Four of Pentacles. Now, this is a strange one. I think this is basically, with this divine, uh, divine counterpart as well, in the past, you would have done everything for everybody. And I think that is a very admirable thing. And you will still be doing so much for so many people. You, that's natural within you, Gemini. But at the same time, I think this Emperor card is, as I said earlier on, it's like you've got to take this position of holding on tightly as a sort of saying, no, it's not like this. This is how we're going to do it. This is how it's got to be done. You know, sort of scenario I think if you do that, it's holding true to that sort of power and that value that is within you. Don't give it away cheaply, Gemini, basically. That's what it's sort of saying. Don't give your power away cheaply. Stand in your power. Hold on to it, in a way. Um, not in an egotistical sense, because that's not what you're like, but certainly hold on to it. With the Ace of Pentacles, you get the lovers. You, I think that you could well be meeting someone through your work that's going to really you know, tickle your boxes. That's a very big possible for you. But also at the same time, that's for some of you. I think for the majority of, of you, you're going to create this opportunity with that Ace of Pentacles, which is going to make you feel in love with what you're doing, fall in love with life. And it's going to be make you really, yeah, happy and joyous and, and eager to do your job, do your business and get on, do your projects as well, you know, in your personal life and doing your projects. Um, whatever it is, it's, you're just going to be, you're going to be, you know, whistle while you work, whistle while you work. That's the sort of thing. You're going to be chuffed to bits. You know, those dwarfs are going, Is I think it's the dwarfs out of Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. They're going down the mine. I have never seen a mine like that. 
You don't need to, so you just need to lean on a wall and, oh look, there's another jewel. Oh look, there's another one. You know what I mean? That is easy life, those dwarfs. Um, you know, and they, that's why they're enjoying it, because they're getting results. And I think this is where you're going to enjoy it, because you're going to see the results in the third week. In the fourth week, you get the ace of wands out with the old and in with the new. I think this is a confirmation, a little bit like the six of swords here. I think this is a confirmation of you are doing exactly what you should be doing. And it is you are heading off on something that is far greater uh, and much more passionate for you in regards to your business, your job and your projects. You're heading towards something that is going to, um, you know, open doors for you. I was talking about keys earlier on. Just look at the hierophant there. You know, uh, at the bottom of the high front, there's two keys there. It's opening that door. It's the same thing which you've got on the five of uh, pentacles there. There seems to be one as well within the, um, uh, you know, the, the emperor. So it's, it's, a, it's a staff, but it's, you know, it's, it's, it's giving me the, that you've got that rod of success within you. Um, and I think this is what the ace of wands is about. It's, it's you are finally letting go of the past and embracing the future and embracing it in a very, very joyous and passionate way. Woo, Gemini. Beautiful reading. You know, really, really beautiful reading. So chuffed for you. Um, yeah, so chuffed for you. I, yeah. I, I enjoy, enjoy July. Enjoy applying everything in July. You've got the collective reading that's come out. And, um, you know, don't forget, um, you've got your weeklies as well at the weekend. Uh, thank you very much for supporting this channel, subscribing, liking, sharing, commenting, clicking the bell and all of those, those things. I do appreciate it. Thank you very much. Um, yeah, in the meantime, don't forget, life should be fun. So please do enjoy.